There are some insane SBCs out at the moment that we're going to be going through. And also, if we hit 100 likes on this video, I'll give someone who comments down below some FIFA points. So get involved. If you're tired of coming up against teams like this... <laughs> You can get some foot coins through MMO EXP using the link down below. You can also use code Jambu for 5% off. Right guys, so it's our weekly content update. I was actually away last week and didn't get round to doing this. There is a lot of crazy SBCs out at the minute. I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts, telling you which ones you should or shouldn't be going for. And hopefully you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. And let's get into the video. Okay, so we are going back a little bit here. We'll start with some of the older ones. We obviously have all the, like, the icons and stuff like that. I think you guys by now uh, will know about them. The Zambrotta one, I 100% recommend completing. We did speak about him in the last content update. But let's have a little look. So we've still got Marquisio out here. And at this point, genuinely, I think... There is just so many better cards than this out on the market that I I just you you probably just shouldn't be going near this at this point. You know, tradable cards like Taram, for example. There's just so many better options. There really is. I, I think this card's outdated. It's one of them at the start of the game. Marquezio is always good. This is obviously his trophy titans. You know, it's a good it's a good card. It's a good all round card. But at this point, I think it's just very very outdated. We've then got Bonucci, a uh, very nice centre back actually, six foot three. Um, he's got that 84 pace, elite defending, great physicals. Again, there's probably better out there. I think Tots sort of like destroys the power curve and just takes it to a whole new level. You can get like elite cards for 50k on the market. So when you're looking at a centre back like Bonucci, who has 61 agility and 59 balance. There's just better out there, but definitely not a bad option. And I think there's some really good options in the Serie A as well. So, you know, if you're desperate for a centre-back and you've got some fodder, I don't think Benucci is the worst of shouts. We've then got Emiliano Martinez. Let me know in the comments, what is your opinion on, like, this goalkeeper playing outfield and, you know, the crazy position changes? Like, are you a fan of it or would you prefer it to not be in foot? I'd be interested as to what you guys think. But we've got Martinez here. He's a six foot five centre back. And he is absolutely insane. Four star, four star. Like six foot five with that agility and balance. Elite defending physicals and pace. Ball playing. Like this is genuinely up there with one of the best centre backs in the game. I do feel like they're releasing a lot of these cards. So it's not like Martinez is, you know, a one of a kind card at this point. But... You could play this guy for the rest of the year, absolutely no problem, and he is going to be outrageously good. Uh, moving on, we've got Fatinia here. A lot of people actually asked me about him in the last video. This is a nice little card. So he's got the five star skill moves, four star weak foot. He's five foot eight. He's going to feel smooth on the ball. You know, when you're a player that's that small with that good agility, balance, and also physically good, he's going to be hard to knock off the ball. Um, you can play this guy in a variety of positions as well. I think as an attacking centre mid in like a 4-3-2-1, I think he'd be really, really good there. Uh, crazy acceleration, crazy passing. Um, he's got the finesse shot, outside the foot shot trait as well. And obviously the PSG links, French League, like it, it's just a good card. It's just a good card that's going to be easy to get into a team. Uh, we've then got Kearney. Just so irrelevant. There's so many better cards out there. It's crazy. Dyer, same situation. Uh, we were speaking about this on a previous video. It's these sorts of cards, right? So EA love releasing these decent looking cards uh, that are just four star, four star. You can go through and have a look at four star, four star strikers in this game. There are so many cards just so similar to this. It's actually insane. Um, here's another one. Jackson. Four star, four star, just so similar to so many players in the game. It's, it makes it very boring in a way, at least in my opinion. Uh, but we've then got this guy here, who by all accounts, according to a lot of pros and stuff like that, this is the best midfielder in the entire game now, bar none. He is six foot eight, with 90 pace, elite defending and physicals. He's even great on the ball. He's got five star skills. 99 jumping at six foot eight. 
I don't think EA actually realise what they're doing to their game when they release a card like this because this is a this is a one of a kind card. Um, the guy will not lose a header in the air. And if any of you guys watched the pro tournament last weekend, you would have seen that the meta was basically chip the ball up to this guy and then play for knockdowns in the box to your strikers. Six foot eight, 99 jumping, 99 heading accuracy with power header. It is just an absolute joke. This guy is a must in every single team, in my opinion. I just think he's on another level. He may well be the best centre mid ever released in foot. Uh, like, there is no way you would rather take Hullet over this guy. Like, there just isn't. Absolutely insane card. Uh, moving on, we do have Upa Meccano. Five-star skill moves. Very decent looking player, to be fair. I would prefer to have him again as like an attacking centre mid. He's got good enough defending stats to do that. You know, a sort of box-to-box -box role. And I think he'd be absolutely insane there. He does have the finesse shot and flair passes as well. Um, and you can actually start him as a centre mid. So that is where I would play him. But he's a very good card as well uh, with some good links. We then move on to... End of an era Kante and EA absolutely love, don't they, releasing an overpriced N'Golo Kante card. And I'm not saying this card won't be insane because he definitely will be. Um, he's got the five-star weak for four-star skills, just outrageous stats. Like, I just know Kante on FIFA as well. Like, he will feel insane. Obviously, he's got the defending, but he's going to win every ball. He's going to be absolutely all over the pitch. He'll be a really good card. Doesn't have any of the shooting traits, which is a bit unfortunate, but not too much of an issue. Personally, I'd stay away from this. Like, I would take that Milinkovic Savic every single day over this Kante. But obviously, there's some nostalgia. You know, you'll have some Kante fans, French or Chelsea fans that want to get him in there. You know, his last ever major foot card, probably. We may be wrong. You know, we'll see, though. But overall, you know, just way too overpriced. We've then got Buffon. He is a very, very good player. Six foot four centre back, five star weak foot. And I feel like, you know, we'll, we'll be getting on the trend now where there will be a lot of these released. But again, it's another card that you could just play him for the rest of the year. And, you know, you're not going to have any issues there at all. He's got the power header, great jumping, you know, at six foot four. Insane composure reactions, passing, just a very good all-round ball-playing centre-back. And then we have got the box-to-box -box midfielder of dreams. It is Gavardial. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills, uh, high, high work rates, great pace, just, just green everywhere you look. Crazy defending physicals, dribbling, passing, power header as well. He has got everything you need. But guys, that is the content roundup. Um, the absolute pick of the bunch, in my opinion, is easily this Milinkovic Savic. He's arguably the best card in the game for his position. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Remember to comment down below for the chance to win some FIFA points. Let's try and hit 100 likes on the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one, and peace.